only way that was item spawning noise somewhere. Oh no, I guess. Oh, well, he was going home after a long day of zombieing. Alright. Is that the end of this section? I'm pretty sure that was the end. And now you head on up to Greenvale, meet with the local PD, as any good FBI agent will. Aren't those red vines? Those are red. That's the same red vines. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Where's my hunger? Uh, it's in your, when you hit the start menu. You also have a sleep meter, where you have to sleep, or else you get tired and you go insane. <laughs> really? Kinda, yeah. There's definitely something in this town. <laughs> Do you feel it, Zach? Not like Eternal my Darkness. Coffee warned but... me about it. My yes, coffee my warned me about it. My coffee made a sign. It said, Tomorrow you'll arrive in a place that will change your fate. He's very particular about his coffee. Which is nothing like a certain television program, I assure you. Nothing. <laughs> Some damn good coffee. And now you run on this desolate road. <laughs> How you been? I've been okay. There's your hunger it's right there. Cold. Yeah. You wanna? We're almost there. FBI Special Agent, Francis York Morgan. Please, just call me York. That's what everyone calls me. Agent York? Good, that's good. <laughs> Are you the sheriff? Uh, no, I'm Deputy Sheriff Emily Wyatt. George, he's the sheriff. He went looking for you, actually. He should be back soon. I see. If you don't mind me asking, did you walk all the way here? My car broke down, that's all. No mentioning all the weird shit that just happened in the woods. No, no, they don't need to know. It's okay. It's between it's between him and Zach. <laughs> She's easy on the eyes. Definitely worth a trip to the primitive world. By the way, don't mention anything about what happened back there. She'll think you're a psycho. <laughs> don't want that, do we, Zach? Welcome to Greenville. No I'm one noted. Sheriff George Woodman. Call me George. That's what everyone calls him. No one, no one notices that he's talking to himself. No, they do. Uh oh, they do. That's. Please, just call me York. That's what everyone calls me. That guy's mustache is ridiculous. <laughs> yep, he's a manly man. Tell me why the FBI is so interested in a small town homicide. Just say it's a personal interest in killers of young women. I'm always looking for new sample cases to help me with my profile. Both our superiors have cleared this with each other. 
You can remain in command. You don't have a problem with this, do you? No. No problem. Just want to set things straight. Our small town has its share of problems. I'm the one fixing them one by one and maintaining peace and order. You can have your profile and sample, but I need you to understand that. <coughs> of course. Of course. By the way, George, I had a little accident with my car. Could you send someone to take care of it? Little. Little. Oh, and little. my clothes and luggage are still inside. All right. Don't worry. I'll get my assistant Thomas to take care of it. Do you need anything else? Thanks. That'll be all. Well then, I think I'll rest up first at the hotel. Then I'll join you on your investigation. Don't know how to say that. But, uh, I really don't need your help. Unlike some of your corrupt city police officers, I play it by the book. I hope you'll okay. come to appreciate that. Agent Morgan. <laughs> and we'll handle the investigation. You just think of this as a vacation. Take it easy. Enjoy the nature here. I you bet don't he's have the bad to be guy. a tree worshiper or to one appreciate of them. the wild. What are you talking about? Get crazy. He's a jackass. Either that or he's gonna get killed. He's yeah. Sheriff George Woodman. There are no cavemen here. We're as far forward as the Middle Ages. And we've just the king. Why are you ragging on King George, man? Come on. <laughs> Alright. Episode 1 is complete. Oh yeah, I did that. Cookies. <laughs> Cookies are great. Previously during the investigation, these puppies are making me go to another town in the boondocks again. I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. Welcome. I'm the sheriff. Where are these all just pictures? There's definitely something in this town. What do you mean? It's it's pro it's, it's a it's previously on. Yeah, but they usually use motion. Uh, yeah, sure. It's broken. I've been using that one for a long time. Why didn't you get it repaired? This TV is important to you, right? It's got some memories attached to it, sure. I used to watch <laughs> movies on this thing with your grandma all so the time. So is this supposed to insinuate that grandma he got married to, uh, the deputy sheriff? Did. Everyone loves movies, right? I love movies, too. I don't know. I've well, never seen never this part. To a movie I didn't though. watch the director's cut, so... Interesting. You don't even know of that sack, man! Come on! Or York, or whoever it is. Lovely. Oh, the TV is overturned? Alright. Get past this part. Run around some. Why does it open up there for no reason? Oh. The trigger cutscene, apparently. 
You didn't hold it. Oh, I had to hold it. You hold your breath. Oh. It said press. <laughs> Great. Previously on the investigation. Damn it. <laughs> oh, try running through the door. Cause it's faster. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hurry, like this. Cover your mouth. Let the small child guide you. What you want to play among the sleep? <laughs> <laughs> it's like bone shifting in there. get it yet? Hold your breath? Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. Hold your breath? I hope you remember. Well, I can let to do it again. In about four hours or so. <laughs> <laughs> if I remember correctly. <laughs> Who are you? And the credits. <laughs> What's your opinion on pickles? Cans of pickles. Cans? I don't know. I've never had a canned pickle. Can of pickles? I never had, I never seen a canned pickle either. I assume they exist somewhere. Perhaps in Japan. And in Greenvale, apparently. That bed is huge! <laughs> He's in the luxury suite. Clearly. Well, Polly doesn't get much business anymore, you know? Will you stop quoting the game I haven't played? What do you mean? Zack, the symbolism in my dreams continues to intensify. A forest of red trees. A carpet with red leaves. A strange doll. And twin angels. But that child is what bothers me the most. I swear I've seen him before. I just can't remember where. Well, it'll probably come back to me eventually. For now, we need coffee. This shit is weird. He just has that box full of lit cigarettes at all times. Let's head to the cafeteria, time. Zach. I hope they have some real coffee. I really need some coffee. Then we can head to the sheriff's office. There's a proper procedure for everything, right, Zach? The mirrors work, <laughs> by the way. So, Duke Nukem 3D technology. You can shave. No. I don't if you shave. don't shave, you grow a beard. You can also change your suit. If you don't change your suit, you get stinky agent penalties throughout the game. 
When do I, where do I change my suit? Uh, by the bed, there's a box that looks like a toolbox. Not that one, that's a toolbox. There you go. Suitcase. Nope. <laughs> you want to do that for the other one while you... Yeah. Are you sure you can, can spare two dollars? Yeah. At the washing machine? I just made money. <laughs> you made twelve bucks. They pay you for keeping trendy. Keeping the FBI's profile in all the small towns. And also calling in. Saying hello. You took a side job working for Travelocity, so you're raining the hotel's bellows. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need some coffee. Yeah, you gotta get. I really need some coffee. Get your morning coffee. Those are clearly just textures, not doors I can open. What do you mean? This is a hotel, there are a lot. Try the vending machine. See what's in the vending machine. No. No, come on. I need coffee. I know. You'll get coffee. <laughs> Why is coffee so expensive? What do you mean? Go, try the... How much is crackers? <laughs> you want to spend 35 bucks for a pack of crackers? <sighs> Obviously, only the most wealthy parents stay at the hotel. Good morning, Mr. Morgan. Your breakfast is ready for you. <laughs> <laughs> the way she walks is amazing. This music. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Mrs. This is the best Polly song of the year. Just Polly is fine. Well, then. Thank you, Polly. I'm starving. Is everything all right, Mr. Morgan? Yes. It's delicious, Polly. My compliments to the chef. I'm hoping my cooking will bring back repeat guests. Honestly, though, it's been a while since anyone has stayed here. I couldn't help but notice. <laughs> it's Aside like from Sims. you and me, there seems to be no other guests or workers around. What's that? The salt's in that white shaker there. Thank you. I was wondering if there were any other guests or workers here. Oh, no, no one else. My husband and I used to run this place, but he's in heaven now. You've been working here alone since then. Must be hard by yourself. Oh, my. We're all out of pepper. I'm very <laughs> sorry. It must be difficult to run a hotel by yourself. Well, yes, I suppose. I could just live on my pension. But I have to admit, running a hotel is kind of like a hobby of mine. That's nice. Polly, it might help to hear you better if you could sit a little closer. Oh my, Mr. Morgan, you're embarrassing me. So early in the day, too. I think I'm a little too old for you. And I still love my departed husband. May God rest This is soul. so weird. Mm -hmm. I appreciate the invitation, but I'm fine over here. Polly. I can this is kind of like when Twin Peaks got bad. There. You're exaggerating. This is fine. If there was like a six to eight episode stretch in season two that was cafeteria. terrible. We have to make use of all this space. What do you mean? This is amazing. <sighs> such now plotting, you, such pace. That wound on your face. What happened? And there's just a big spinning metal in the background. Well, yeah. I'm sure it'll heal. It's just a flesh wound. Oh my. Well, there's no need to be the tough guy here. I want you to be able to relax here. I've prepared a special room for you. A famous rock star once stayed in the same room, you know. Really? I feel honored. If you need anything, anything at all, just let me know. I'll help you out in any way I can. Zack, the lady is offering to help. Do you want to ask her about the town? Say, Polly, what can you tell me about this town? Well, let me see. You might know this already. 
but the town is called Greenvale. It rains here quite often, but it's a nice place, surrounded with nature. It was a big and prospering lumber town until not so long ago. We used to have a population of over 6,000 people. Less than a tenth of them left now. This hotel was built back then. We saw plenty of guests in those days. That's why this place is so big for such a small community. I have so many fond memories from back then. I suppose the clock on the community center is quite famous too. The clock? Oh yes, it's lovely. It rings in the morning and at night to let the whole town know the time. You'll hear it many times during your stay. It's a beautiful sound. And you'll love it too, I think. I look forward to hearing it then. <laughs> Anything else you'd like to know What a about? weird thing to say. Yes, actually, uh, Polly. You'll love Could the sound of the clock the tower. I'm sure of it. Well, there aren't many. It is a small town, after all. You can do most of your shopping at the Milk Barn convenience store. The couple who run it are a unique pair. I'm sure. No, what are you doing? I'm done. I can't take it. Come on! You need to get to hear about the Galaxy of Terror? What's the Galaxy of Terror? It's a nightclub. For a town of under 600 people? There are two nightclubs. Also the Swery 65. Did you see that, Zach? Clear as a crisp spring morning. F. K. What? The coffee. FK the coffee? Count on it. Never fails. Now then, <laughs> let's get going. Yeah. His smile is not the best. Alright. And now you're good. You can do whatever you want. Yay. You can go drive around the town for three days doing nothing if you want. Let's go on side quests. You could pay $35 for some crackers. You could, uh... uh. Steal Polly's, uh, egg <laughs> from her microwave. <laughs> That's how you get eggs, right? Oh, hi. Here's some stabilizer. <laughs> there you go. There's a fishing spot behind the hotel if you want to go fishing. Can I get to it? Do I have to go out the front door? No, I think you could, well, I think you'd have to, you have to, I think it might be easier to go around back from the outside, but there's a way to maneuver. I think you have to go out through Polly's room, if I remember, and I don't know where that is exactly. It's a, quite a large complex here. I can see that. There's a, uh, upstairs, there's an exit, there's just a bunch of museum pieces about hunting. Really? Yep. You can just read about hunting in Greenville for a while. We're gonna have to stop soon. I know. This has been going on for quite some time. I'm end up splitting it into two parts. Eh. That's fine. Look at that turkey sandwich. Doesn't that look appetizing? Unbelievably delicious. The blue and green and purple turkey sandwich. A police car. <laughs> Jesus Christ, the music. That sounds like something from Mario. 
So we have yeah. King George to thank for preparing a car for me. A pleasant surprise, eh, Zach? Let's take it for a spin. I have to tell you, Zach, this place simply amazes me. The keys were left on the front hood, and nobody stole the car. Values. This town has what the country needs. Values. Let's head over to the sheriff's department. <laughs> Memorize this. You'll figure it out. Be sure to use your turn, your turn signals. Why? Your, your wipers on the D-pad. Keep your headlights on all the time. Honk by clicking in the stick. Master key? What else does it unlock? All the police cars of the town, basically. And you could buy other cars eventually. No, that's just what happens when you boost. Oh, you want to go fishing? Yeah. Zach, is there okay. something here that you want to check out? We're supposed to go through Anna Graham's file at the sheriff's office, but if you want to act on a hunch, then I'm with you. You can't get past that. Why are there just police cars everywhere? It's convenience? More than anything, probably. You peek through all the windows of every house in the city. Is there anything in there? If, if there are characters in there, you could watch them from their window. Sometimes they dance. That's what. That's what's inside that room. Now you know. <laughs> Potato. Potatoes will satisfy a small amount of hunger. Just a small amount, though. True. You have to eat several whole potatoes a day if you want to get all your hunger back. Fishing. This game is, I think, this game is cheap what? on the sale right now, too, now that I think about it. It's not. It's not? It's on sale a little bit, but it's not on sale for a while. Hmm. Oh, no, it was on a flash sale for a while, that's what it was. Yeah, that's when I picked it up. Ah. And here we are. Yep. I don't think you're ready <laughs> for what happens. When I go fishing? Yeah. Oh, you got a bullet. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah. happens when I get the face? Uh, I think that is a uh, that is, you failed, and your line breaks or something, and you have to use more bait. Because you still have six bait. You could fish as long as you want. What's in the present? A trading card. You could actually get fish, too. Although, they serve no purpose, other than food. Congratulations, you fished. I have fish. 
Oh, wait, there is one reason to get fish All later right. on. One side quest. I forgot. How many fish do I need? I don't know. I don't remember specifics, man. It's been a long time. You should probably just... Yes. If you want to just do like a quick... There's a couple quick side quests you could do at the police station. We may just have to stop now, actually. And then we could end the video if you want. It's taken a... It's, we've been doing this for a while. I know. Well, it's up to you. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I've watched this game through three times, so I could watch it all day. I don't know why you did that. Because it's three different people playing the game, and I really like it. Oh, shit. There you go. Need some stabilizer, man, I told you. <laughs> like a fat man. Keep your saunter, come on. You're almost there. And you're fine. You can drive any of those cars too. I want my car. Work. I think your car's gone. Why is it gone? The, the cars kind of just park on their own when you're not in them. Why? Because it, it doesn't remember the game, it doesn't remember where your cars were. Because it doesn't need to. It likes when cars are in parking spots. You can't drive very fast without uh, upgrading your car at the junkyard or buying a new car. Or eventually repairing your car, which you can not do if you don't want to. <laughs> oh, talk. So, so, hey, day. About those bonus features in DVDs nowadays. You know, the ones from the 80s have almost no bonus material. Even if they do, it's a trailer and the visual quality is pretty bad. Well, that visual quality is a good reminder of those days. So many new audio and visual appliances were coming out back then. Do you remember the first video deck we bought? We bought it to record one of the Star Wars movies on TV. And remember when that video store opened, we spent hours there, just trying to find a good movie to rent. There weren't that many to choose from back then. I remember renting some really bad ones after reading those back cover taglines. Hey, remember? Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, filmed in 1978. <laughs> Produced, directed, written, and edited by John DeBello. It was really awful, but for some reason I still remember it pretty well. It had so many sequels, and the original was re-released in 95. The 87-minute long theatrical release bumped up to a whopping 90 minutes. But that was around the time I joined the Bureau. I never have a chance to see it. I know, Zach. Once this case is over, we can watch it together. I bet we can buy a copy on the internet pretty easily. Ha ha ha. That last line was added into the director's cut, I'm pretty sure. Really? Yeah, I don't think he said, I don't think he mentioned the internet ever in this video game before. Weird. Yeah. That's one fine building for such a small town. <laughs> fine, fine. Damn fine building. Don't you agree, Zach? The woodman does live there. I don't think that's what wood means. He's a man of wood. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to cut this in two. That's fine. We're not recording that many today. It's because someone was late. Uh, yeah, because someone needs money <laughs> so he can continue living. That's true. <laughs> uh, uh... Is it wet? <laughs> On the floor. Pleasure to meet you, Agent Morgan. He's like splashing. I'm Thomas no, he's McClain, just the sheriff's assistant. That's just Thomas. You mean it's Thomas? That's Thomas. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Excuse. Please just call me York. 
It's what everyone else calls me. Very well then, Agent Agent York. I believe I owe you a thank you for retrieving my belongings from my car. Thanks. Oh, no, no. Just doing my job. I just... I want to help do everything I can to help the investigation. I just can't believe Anna was murdered. She was such a bright and lovely girl. Did you know her well? Well, no, not really. But it's a very small town. I'm sorry. It's just that this is the first really big case I've ever seen. I understand. Just try to relax. Can I have a look uh -huh. at Anna's file now? Yes, of course. <laughs> the sheriff told me to let you through to the meeting room, but I've lost the key There's to the no cabinet way this could where be the file faster is. Than it was supposed to go. Why don't you take a look around while I go look? No, this part okay. isn't. I thought the other part. The pop-ups. Zach Thomas there he goes. appears to be the kind and sensitive type, totally at odds <laughs> with the monarch. Almost a good setting for a cartoon. You gotta find the keys to the meeting room. Because Thomas lost them. What kind of keys do you think they are? Good keys. Good keys? Good keys. Okay. That is not right. That is not the correct type of keys. What was the thing I could observe? Uh oh. Yeah, they meet guests in this room. Hi. Like that part. Like all the dialogue coming up and everything. Seems really fast. That sounds like a good thing. Yeah, probably. Do uh. you work out every day? Of course, Agent Morgan. Exercise keeps me healthy. I haven't missed a day since I started in high school. Now that's impressive. Remind me to get more exercise, Zach. But I can't do my full routine. I feel like this game started out on the like, original Arnold. Xbox. I haven't seen Arnold around since yesterday. Arnold. Yeah. I think it did. He's a training buddy of mine. His partner Sylvester misses him too. If you see Arnold around, let me know, will ya? Can't finish my workout menu without him. Okay. I'll keep an eye out for him. His workout menu. <laughs> um, I think I'm pretty sure this used to be called uh something woods. Lost Woods or something. And uh that trailer came out like oh five ish. Zach, look at this. At E three. And it was oh, even God, more like Twin Peaks. Special. And then they had to tone it down because their publisher or something said, Hey guys, maybe not make it perfect. Twin Peaks of video game, we don't have the license. Stuff deer's head on the wall. A flag, a hunting rifle. A hunting rifle. Amazing. You'd never see a hunting rifle on the wall of a police Those are the weirdest the exclamation points That's I've ever seen. Mm hmm. Wonder if the sheriff would ever let me shoot. Do I get to go hunting? No. So is that my reward for completing this quest? Oh, that's not a full way that's in here. <laughs> Gotta go find Arnold, man. You can't leave now. Oh. Why is there someone guarding the fire exit? <laughs> <laughs> what if there's. It's important to keep the fire exit open. Long-tailed flying squirrel keys. Is that a car? No, that's you're looking for the keys. Remember? Oh. You found the keys. Good. I get it. Why are there a <laughs> bunch of different flying squirrel keys? <laughs> You found the keys, man. Wait, what was that? How, 
what well, how else would you organize keys in an office? Uh, I don't know. By putting them on different breeds of flying squirrel keychains. Seems like the easiest way to me. What are you doing? Looking. For what? I don't know. Collectibles. Shit. <laughs> Keys. You could shave in the kitchen sink. I don't want to shave here. Found the dumbbell. We found Arnold. Let's get him back to George. I guess it's a cute name for a dumbbell. Cute dumbbell, I guess. You got dumbbell. Great. Uh huh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, you found some keys. <laughs> I got a turkey sandwich. No, you got turkey sandwich trading card. Oh. You got to keep those things cold. Arnold. Really? He was a bit ah. hard, but I got him to come back. <sighs> oh, <laughs> Arnold. Well done, Agent Morgan. Now I can work out using my normal workout menu. Good to hear that. Uh, here's a little something to show you my appreciation. Congratulations. You signed up to the trading card. Great. I don't owe you anything, and you don't owe me anything. No changes to how we work together. Just See, look at that me. animation. <laughs> Zach? That can't be you what they thought. Who aren't so dumb. That's got to be sped up, right? Maybe. That's, that's like a crazy man. I think it's just the computer, this computer has more RAM than it knows what to do with or something. I don't know. I don't know, that run speed looks normal. I'm not an expert. Oh, they fixed that. What? That's amazing. What? In the original game, when you went down a staircase, it cut out to a, a uh, a fixed camera, and you had to adjust the controls going down a staircase. Oh my god, really? Yeah, so <laughs> that's a big improvement. <laughs> like Resident Evil style. Shit. Yeah. Get all these bullets for guns you don't have. You can shoot. More keys. What happens if I shoot targets? I don't know. Why do they move so fast? I want to hit the bullseye, damn it. Fine, whatever. <laughs> Maybe go turn in the keys. Why don't I go look in the prison? You could. You can sleep in the prison? Nah. If you'd like. Like any good FBI agent? Why don't I have like a poop meter or something? Because this is a video game? 
I have a hunger and sleep meter. Right. That's how you save in a... Oh. Some flying squirrel peas, huh? What is that game? Uh, no more heroes, you go poop. Oh, okay. Well, that's a, that's a different crazy Japanese person who designed that video game. Oh, that is amazing. <laughs> Staircases that make sense. Why well, we turn in the keys and then, uh... Call it a day. Yeah. I could watch you do it all day, but... You found the key. I think so. Is this it? You don't know your squirrels, do you? This isn't the right key holder. This is a Siberian flying squirrel. It's closer to a land-based squirrel. The Siberian flying squirrel is larger than the southern flying squirrel and has a standing tail. But we're looking for a sudden. No, you're not. Just turn in all the keys. Found the key. That's the right one. <laughs> She's the mouse. <laughs> A southern flying squirrel. Thank you so much. I'll bring the files right in, so please go to the meeting room. Okay, I'll be waiting for you. Well, Zach, we just got here and we've cracked a big case already. The victim's name was Anna Graham. Wonderful. Age 18, she just recently graduated from high school this year. Wonderful what? Anna Graham? Out to the city just and become a model. so lovely. But for the time being, she was working in the AMG diner here in town. She lived with her mother, Sally. Anna's father died in an accident in a lumber mill when she was a child. Her mother is unemployed and lives on the insurance money from her husband's accident. After all, it's a small town with a low cost of living. Financially, they seem to get by fine, and they led normal lives. A normal life is exactly what a curious teenager doesn't want. It's all starting to make sense, Zach. Isn't it, though, David? Yes, yeah, so much so. It's all starting to make sense. City folk, huh? No. No, I take that back. All of them can't be as bad as him. And some should have better manners. Huh. This is a good biscuit. I've <laughs> tasted a biscuit this delicious. Where in town can I get these? Oh, well, actually... I... Well... I... I baked them myself. <laughs> what the fuck oh, is this game? This is amazing. This is wonderful. wonderful. Very particular about biscuits, I'll have you know. The balance of milk <laughs> and butter you've achieved here. Oh my. Agent Morgan, the autopsy's ready. You are welcome to accompany me to the Greenvale General Hospital. Emily, you come too. Thomas, stay here and tidy up these files. Y yes, sir. We're going to use the car outside. Let's get going. You might think this is just a small town police investigation, but our inspections are thorough and solid. I'm hoping you won't slow us down. He's still staring at that biscuit. Yep. That's all he cares about. Thomas's biscuit is a health item in the game. It heals all your health and all your hunger. Wow. Well, we have now saved. You could also sample Emily's food. Or is, is her food good? Yeah, sure. <laughs> There's a whole side quest about Emily's food, actually. Like, what is it? It's like a, it's like a big donut, right? There's like a whole. It's like the Greenvale General Hospital is down the road by the lake. It's too but far the donuts are weird in this game Come too. On. 
get in the car. If I'm riding in a car, George, I prefer to be the driver. Can you provide a car for me? What are you talking about? You don't even know how to get there. <laughs> Which is another good reason for me to drive, George. I need to learn my way around town. Oh, man. Very well. Then I'll ride with you. I want to keep an eye on you. Fair enough. Just one thing, Agent Morgan. Your involvement in this case is limited. That means you don't have to learn your way around town. George, we'd better get moving. The hospital closes at 2100. You know, 2100. That's a time. <sighs> How do I quit? So that's a uh, different premonition. It's an amazing game. It's really, it's really, it. Oh, autosave is. Why is autosave off by default? I don't know. That seems really. By everyone. Dumb. Yeah, it's 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 the only game that I would say would be like a B movie, right? This is like an action. This is what like a Plan Nine video game would yeah. be. Yeah. Because the story's really good, but it's really weird. But Plan 9's story isn't really good. I don't know why people love it as much as they do. Wait, you don't? No, it's really bad. What do you, it's what awful. do you mean? That's why it's good. Because it's it has a certain it's yeah, charming. Yeah, I, I don't want to. I would never watch it on its own. I just watch like the riff tracks. Oh, you're it. crazy, man. All right. All right. Bye. We'll everyone. talk about this later. <laughs> <laughs>